and they have a little bit of skin lube, which is basically Vaseline on them. These are used to prevent blisters also. So they go here, where your laces would normally go for your shoe or cleats, and on your heel back here, because those are the areas where you're gonna have the most friction from the tape down. And it's, they're used to prevent blisters and uh, discomfort. Pre-wrap. Um, you guys might not be able to see too well over there, except for my back. So when we start taping, we're gonna start taping at the bottom of the gas strap, which is your calf muscle, okay? Right where it, Sorry. Right where it meets the tendon, you'll kind of feel it. You'll kind of feel it right down here where the muscle belly ends. That's where you start taping. Some people tape them really low. I'm not one of those guys because I don't feel like it gives you any support. And if you learn it the proper way, you should be taping it right at the bottom of the gastrocnemius, which is the calf, the main calf muscle. So you're going to go all the way down through. You're only going to put two layers of pre-wrap. And the reason being is that pre-wrap um, is porous and it tends to collect moisture. And the last thing you want to do is have a foot sitting in a bunch of sweat or rain or water or whatever when they're trying to perform. So next thing you're going to do is make sure that they keep their foot in neutral. This is neutral, 90 degrees, because if they don't have it in neutral, the tape's not going to sit right. And they're, again, they're not going to get the support they need. So first thing you're going to start with, number one, is the anchors. That only shows one anchor. I usually do two or three, depending on how big their foot and their ankle are. So you're gonna start at the top here. <clears throat> we'll do three for her. Okay? Just anchor strips. This is to anchor other tape on, okay? Next thing you're gonna do is the number three on here. They put a two. Don't mind the number, just look at where the tape is going. Number three, the stirrups. So the stirrups, the stirrups are gonna be dependent on how you, what you're trying to prevent. So if you have a lateral ankle sprain, and that's what you're trying to prevent, you're gonna start your stirrup immediately and bring it laterally. And you're gonna pull it across as you do so. So you're trying to give more support over here. You're basically trying to create like a, like a fake ligament almost to try to give it more support. So you started up here at the top where you started the anchors. As you're coming around, you're pulling on it. Okay, you see how our foot's moving there? I feel it. Yep. <laughs> And you want to lay it down nice and tight so that it's not going to flop around. The next step is to this number four, which is called a horseshoe. You're going to start doing horseshoes around there. Almost, they're almost like the same as anchors, but a little different. See, what you're trying to do is create a basket almost. You know how you weave a basket together with different fibers and stuff like that? That's what you're trying to do here because that's the strongest method. So you'll put a stirrup, then you'll do an anchor. Okay. You're trying to do all this without any um, wrinkles and stuff, because also those cause blisters. So you're gonna do three stirrups and three anchors, uh, three uh, horseshoes. And you're gonna try to fan it out. So as I come across here, you're gonna see that I try to go not on the same spot that I put the first stirrup. Can you guys kind of see that? You're trying to fan it out so you get the biggest amount of coverage on that side, okay? So that's another stirrup. I'm gonna do another horseshoe. And then one more stirrup. Again, trying to fan it out, go in a different spot. And this whole time we're, we're laying these stirrups down, we're pulling that way. So we're creating that, basically that fake ligament. Okay? This is just another anchor strip here. And you'll see why we do that in a minute here. Now we're gonna kind of close it up a little bit with a couple more horseshoes. By the time we're done, this is gonna look almost like a cast. For those of you who've had your ankles taped by me or anybody who knows what they're doing, <coughs> It basically looks like a cast. It looks like a boot almost. It feels like a boot. Yeah. And it should be, there's ways to modify it based on the sport or, or the athlete or what's going on. But this is the standard closed basket weave ankle taking. Okay? So we've got our anchors, we've got our horseshoes, we've got our stirrups, and the rest of them are horseshoes here. Now the next step is figure eights. I know all this sounds really confusing. Hopefully we're posting some video here so we can have this. You're gonna start immediately and you're gonna come around and again, as you're coming around, you're pulling laterally. Now, if she would have, if she would have had a medial ankle sprain, I would have started on this side and pulled medially. So the exact opposite. Okay, and we're trying to lay this down nice and smooth, so there's no wrinkles there. Okay, we're gonna do two of those. These are called figure eights. Two figure eights. Okay, but we're still not done. We're only about halfway done. Next thing is heel locks. 
I'm gonna start. You're gonna do two on each side. And the way that these go is you're actually going around the heel. That's why they call them a heel lock. And it gives that support around the heel. It gives you that extra support. You're gonna do two on each side, so we'll alternate. One on each side. You're trying to go down and around the heel. Keep it nice and smooth the whole time, okay? I'll do the other two. Um, this would be number 18, 19 on there, if you're looking. It's kind of kind of jumbled up on that picture. I didn't I couldn't find a real good picture of that, but okay, so we've got our figure eights that went around that way, and then we got our horseshoe or our heel locks that went down around the heel. And now all we gotta do is close it up. So you want to close it up, make it look nice and nice and pretty, and also make sure that there's no like frayed ends and stuff hanging out up here. Okay. They actually recommend that you tape that top portion to the skin. I don't usually do that because they don't like that much, especially guys that have hair on their legs. Um, but that's your clothes basket, clothes basket. 